busy working on our dinghy prep. This is a sample of what our stack pack used to be. We cut it up. <laughs> Second hand, I felt a bit forgotten. This whole trip in the morning we've been looking at getting covers for our acrylic windows made. That's what Ricky's busy checking out outside. So we've been looking at alternatives and whether we want to cover the outside or the inside. And the outside would help with the sun from baking the acrylic and making it age quicker. And so yeah, we've had so many options. We don't know what to choose and we found Sombrella and well it's not Sombrella, what is it called? I don't know. But it's part of the same supplies. Yeah, like a material, like a mesh type. It has little holes in it so you can see out but you can't see in. And we've also had quite a bit of condensation on the boat. Which we didn't anticipate because we didn't think we would be in the winter. But we've decided we're going to insulate the boat a little bit more than, than what we currently have. Insulate the holes. And then... Not all the holes. Not all of them, yeah. Just to help prevent condensation. And obviously with condensation comes mold. And that's not fun. So, I don't know what Ricky's doing. Oh, he's testing the magnets. The magnets. You know what? We forgot to get the small screws for it. I'm going to put the magnets on the doors. So when you pull it down, you just clip it onto the bottom there. I think we leave that so for tonight. It. And then yeah, so we get to go. We measured out the sundowner material and cut the excess off. This then will have a board of sunbrella material sewed on the edges. We will use press studs to secure the cover over the window. So we just finished up at the upholstery place, took uh, about 45-50 minutes just to explain how, how I wanted everything and to do two trims that I still needed to do on the upholstery. A quick stop that we've got to do quickly before we go to Bearing Man is 3M adhesives. What I need to pick up here is our more hardcore kind of adhesive bonding stuff we get from these guys and we want something more specialized we get it from them. They always stock it. So we're going to go there quickly, I just need one tube of of uh, 5200 there's some small applications and also the studs that we're going to put into the fiberglass i want that to go on with 5200 so that those things will be on there for a very very long time the shades came back from the upholstery so we sized it all up again and measured where we wanted to put the press studs and sent that over to the upholsters as you supposedly need a special tool to press down the male part of the press stud into the material busy working on our dinghy prep yeah our dinghy prep um, which is consisting of getting our dinghy and working on our davits so that we can hoist our dinghy up um, which we're working on now making a little pulley system so that one person can hoist up the dinghy by themselves because at the moment it's a struggle between both me and Ricky to hoist it up so now we're making sure we can do we can hoist it up with one person. Preferably, Ricky wants it, me to be able to do it by myself, which I agree. So now we're doing all the little pulleys and all that stuff to make it much easier for me to hoist it up by myself. And then, yeah, then we're gonna look for a five or eight horsepower motor, but there's no such luck in PE at the moment, or let's just say on a budget. So. We are probably going to wait till we get to Cape Town. Once we get to Cape Town, we'll look for a motor and go from there for the flower for our dinghy. So that's, that's the plan for our dinghy prep, and then we can pop them off, the, off our list over there. Now our davits are ready to hoist up our dinghy.
So it's Saturday today and one of the guy, companies here in PE called Arc. They thanks so much for, for letting us come and use your premises. Um, so what they got, they got the industrial machines and Amanda and Derek were giving us a hand. This is a sample of what our stack pack used to be. We cut it out according to what our old stack pack looked like. And then we're just going to add our own reinforcing where we saw the other one starting to fail. And yeah, so we got it out of some umbrella material with the PVC line on the inside for reinforcing and to prevent the umbrella material from chafing. It's also thanks to Amanda and Derek for helping us out. Is Derek popping everything out and there's Amanda getting situated by her station. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it done. Look at this optimal concentration going on here. Beef strong. <laughs> so we're on our way to Amanda and Derek because we didn't manage to finish up the stack pack switching at Arc because of the what? What was the reason? Oh, we couldn't get the cross stitch. Well, the machine was too fast. So we need to get a pulley to slow down the machine. Oh, there we go. The machine was too fast. So you're back, going back to their place, and then Ricky's going to carry on stitching. stitching while I edit. Stitching is a lot of work. Just as much work as editing. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, we're hoping to get the stack pack done soon. Ricky's first attempt at a stack pack. Are you excited? Yeah, it's going to be perfect. Yeah, it's going to be better than the ones you buy. So I've got 5 million years of holding it. <laughs> we bought our own little old school singer sewing machine in case we needed to do repairs at a later stage and make all our winch covers. So we got another present in the mail today and we're going to show you exactly what we got. There we're going to have so much fun. It's good deal for my present. Now me and Ricky are going to flip in have paddleboard races. It's going to be epic. We were off to the beach to test out my new toy. I got my paddleboard and I'm finally getting the courage to go into the water. Thanks for giving us this awesome paddleboard goose hill. We're going to go have races now against each other. So we'll see who wins. I think Ricky will probably win, but who knows. Nice, nice colour. Ricky chose it. Is that you get a kick-ass workout while you're going to fight. What you get when you buy, when you when you get a paddle board is you get this cool pump that you can pump up your paddle board with. You got your, your paddle that's adjustable for your height. You get a cool bag to put your paddle board in once it's deflated and all your other goodies. You get a repair kit. You get your leash to attach to your ankle so that you don't lose your paddle board. You get an instructor manual. Let's go test it out, man. So that doesn't come on the board. That I put so that we could we could film. So take that away. But here's a, here's a, over, a little overview of the board. Goose Hill used super construction enhancement technology to laminate and blend the traditional single layer board with an enhanced layer on each side. It's lightweight, easy to transport, and comes in a variety of colors. Once the board was inflated, it was time for some stretches and to get paddling. Looking ready to take on the ocean. That's going to be so cold. <laughs> Come, let's go test it out. Of 
What do you think of your paddleboard? I think I'm going to put a skirt. Ah, bad. This is lighter. Good in a way to my first form. I mean, not a fault. <laughs> Ricky's failed. <laughs> There comes a big wave for Simone now. Swim time. Okay, let's go get it quick. Bye time. How was that? It's lacquer. You make me worry so much. You guys missed. Did you pull my epic veil? I think I did get some of it. And an epic bell coming up. Thanks Goose Hill for the paddleboard. It's freaking awesome. It was so much fun paddleboarding with Ricky and I'm gonna get pro and hopefully soon. Who is it? <laughs> you like it? It was so much fun. You were just so worried about me the whole time. You were always like, it's like wee, 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 the swimming was good. And I'm like, just relax. The, the ocean is stronger. I know the ocean. Uh, well, my pump couldn't end it too much. It was lots of fun. That's good. We'll definitely have to do it again though when it's like a calmish, calmish. And we're doing it in the middle of the winter. Yeah. So well, towards the end of the winter now. The problem with me is that it's like so nice and then you go, like today was nice. You're like, let's go paddleboard. And then the wind picks up and then it's just choppy and yeah. It just gets, gets in a little, little gnarly. But I didn't fall off, um, well, not on purpose. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't fall off at all. I fell well, off twice. I fell off when you're coming up. I did a proper fail. Simone was a My champion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these boards are only like 10 kilos, but they got so much windage on them that they just yeah, drag around the Yeah, I was carrying the, the bloody board and I was putting it on my head and the wind, wind blew and I was bailed over. I'm trying to not get sand on it from the beach yeah, to the car. It didn't work. But, um, but yeah, it's a good quality board. It's lightweight. It's large, so obviously it's... it's yeah, and yeah, that's definitely more stable than my board, but I'd say a little bit slower. But I think it's all around a good board, would you say? Yeah, I think, I think, yeah. It is a very good board. For me, I think it's really good. I think it's perfect. It's the best board I think you could have got. Yeah. So we'll definitely be using this board on our travels, especially when friends and family come over. And then we can all give it a go. It gives you a good flipping core workout. And arms. And legs. And everything. <laughs> and your double chin. <laughs> what works you out more, the pumping it up or the surfing after yes. Yeah, I was, I was telling Ricky, I don't know if my arms are sore from the bumping up with a bad leg, but they flip and sore. If you guys are interested in this product, click on the description below. There is a promo code for you to get discount on when you, discount when you purchase your own pedal board. So stay tuned to next week's episode where we get a freaking huge surprise. Take a guess what it is. Take a guess what it is. If you haven't already, give us a thumbs up, subscribe below, and if you'd like to support our production, you can click on any of the links in the description below. Have an awesome weekend and a week ahead. Think
step out the way we used to be. Please take a break.